Hi, Taurus. This is Just with your all signs, the person on your mind. We're going to look at each sign to see what their feelings are for you, where they want this to go, and what's going to happen here. Now, this is not a lifetime read, guys. It's just this energy now. So do keep that in mind. Let's start with Aries. Well, if you're dealing with an Aries, they feel like... They want to partner with you. That's for sure. This person may have been watching you. I mean, this is, if you saw the card, you would see that the person is literally stalking them. It's not just about it being a page of swords, but this person is literally on the illustration of it is them watching and stalking. Um, they may have been waiting for you to get single, be single. And they may feel like now it's my time to strike and act. They want things to work out, whether it be coming back together to work things out or now they have a chance with you, but they want you. Um, you're kind of ideal for them and they may feel like you will make them a better person with the way that you carry and behave. Um, now in the past, it may have been very difficult. Like they didn't want what you were given or vice versa. And over time it has become a lot on them to kind of get you. It may be difficult to get you, to keep you, to make to, to get you to see that they're serious uh, because you may take this Aries as a joke. As a young person, maybe they're just too young or just too immature, not stable enough. Um, and they want you to take it more seriously for them or with them. They're going to continue to try to pursue you, but they're just not coming in that mature way that you can say, uh, yeah, I see it. We could do this. And you're ideal for me as I am for you is what it looks like to me. They will be waiting and through the waiting, there's a lot of stress, anxiety, and worry because they don't know exactly what is going on through their your mind. They may have dreams about you, but they're going to step up. They may even, ass oh, oh, okay. Well, this is, now, now this is a very specific message because it just turned. I'm not surprised you rain is <laughs> in full effect. This Aries is trying to wait for you to be single from a someone so they can have a chance with you. Um, and it still goes back to the first story I said. But the thing is, is that somebody else is going to be coming in and contending for your love and affection as well. The difference is this man, this man or this woman will be what you expect, what you the person that you sh you show up as is how they're going to show up with you. And then Aries, poor Aries is going to be on the sidelines, hoping that you'll pick them. You're not so sure about this air resource and you do like the attention and all that comes from the other person. Okay. Um, you know, Aries really has to prove themselves with you, uh, but you may feel like it'll be a missed opportunity or that you kind of can't give them what they need or they can't give it to you. It may take some time is what I see with this Aries before things can get back on track or that you feel like it's mutual. Um, it is a big struggle. I feel like you're going to cut this other person out. You may just cut them off. Yeah, they're established and all those things. Um but I feel that there could be third party. Uh, there's a lot holding back. Um, it can, all, mm, no, the other person that is more like you, um, you may feel like it's just too much of a burden. It's just too much shit with him or her. Uh, but the Aries, you may feel in time. Um, and it may be in Aries favor that somebody else comes in and, and has all the trimmings that you feel you like, you love and all that stuff. And then you realize mm, not so much. And then it's almost like seeing Aries with fresh new eyes. So this is not over. The jury is not out on this at all. The two of you really can work this out down the line once you realize something completely different than you. Maybe just what you want this time around. Now let's look at another Taurus. So if you're dealing with another Taurus, you guys are going to be together this time next year. The tables have now turned and now they're hurt. So I don't know if they're hurt secretly. It's not really showing up in these cards, but it's saying that they are hurt. Something about things between the two of you is going to change and the tables are going to turn. Right now, it looks like they're just waiting, but they're going to make a decision to kind of break, um, kind of break the barriers down okay so if you have walls up they're going to be breaking those down um i do feel like this this other taurus has if they had any mental struggles or if it was challenges they're going to put that to an end yeah they're going to put it to an end 
the sadness, the loss, the missing you, all of this stuff. And it's like, fuck that. I am going toward my Taurus and I'm going to go get my Taurus. And it's just that simple. They may feel like you look good. You smell better. <laughs> you smelling good. You look better. You know, um, I think the, 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 if there has been distance, which it looks like there has been, your person has been really um, imagining you 10 times better. You know, like you, you just, everything about you is 10 times better. And they're like, F this. I'm going to break these barriers down. I'm not going to sit in, in, in sorrow anymore and just sit back and wait and watch Taurus and see. I'm going to make it happen. And boy, will they make it happen. Now, let me be very clear. If you're a Taurus woman, um, you may have been the one in the beginning kind of offering up your love like hey here's my keys to everything my heart my house my car my <laughs> like you've been you were prepared to give them the keys like they saw that and I guess you know through the stagnation or maybe there's been some space between the two of you they now realize and recognize you know what has happened and who they want um, and it looks like it's you but now it looks like you're at a place or about to be at a place where it's all about her, her, you Taurus women. It's all about me, what I want, what I want to do. And love could be an option. It's an option. It's not like part of my fabric. Um, I enjoy it, but I enjoy a lot of other things too, because you're going to turn more into a fiery energy. So it will be more self-interested, uh, self-focused and getting a lot of attention. But this man is going to want to work on this, invest in you, invest in this. And it will start to become very clear because he's going to become more serious about you, like serious, serious about you. Um, and it's going to be a new opportunity for love. The thing is, is that it's going to quickly turn into two people loving each other. So Taurus on another Taurus, he wants your love. He wants, um, he kind of wants a love that he probably hasn't had since his, his own childhood, something like that. And he's willing to give all of his love to you. So I think it's a great combination, this Taurus on Taurus. And I do see the two of you. If there are no children. You could very well be baptizing a child by this time next year or this time in two years time, because I do see you guys having started a love and now like you're nurturing and you're, you care so much about it. You guys will do whatever it takes to continue to have it stay in its natural form, which is loving, unconditional, trusting, and true. So congratulations for some of you out there dealing with a Taurus. This is only going to get better. Now let's look at Gemini. So if you're dealing with a Gemini, have one on your mind. They don't want you to cry or be unhappy because they feel like amazing things are awaiting you. And to stay the course because you're going to be successful. And that's for those of you who, you know, have committed to something long term that you have to see all the way through. They want you back or they want to work on this. They love you. They feel like, yeah, they may be other people. Yeah, they may have messed up. Um, or vice versa, just depends. Um, but they want to come back together with you. They want to spend some time with you. Um, they want to work on this. They do care deeply for you. They hold you in a high regard. They may have walked away or felt like it would be best that they walk away or let you go. Um, but then now they're having a, a change of heart. Now they feel like, you know, you are the pinnacle of partnership. And I do feel that they're going to release... Um, they may be kind of feeling like they got to let you go. Yeah, this Gemini is coming up real strong. They're having a hard ass time letting you go. Like they may have had to let you go. Um, and other women, other things just won't cut it for them. Maybe in the past they did you wrong, uh, stepped outside of the relationship. And they're like, damn it. I had everything that I could have wanted. I thought I was going to have everything with Taurus and now everything is ending or they have to give you up. They have to contend with the fact that they don't have you. And it's been damn near impossible to, for that to happen. They find themselves still watching you, stalking you, um, seeing if someone else is coming to your life, that sort of thing. And even if you've married and moved on, that sort of thing, this Gemini is not over you. They want to come in and tell you how much they care about you. And we're going to focus on people who are not married and in a relationship, right? But I do see a lot of holding back. I do see a lot of controlling yourself as individuals but also having a lot of control and effects still on each other and it's going to kind of it's going to come a time where the two of you are blocked or someone is just hanging in suspension and somebody may be waiting forever for this someone could be waiting like this towards this gemini could look around and say 
it's been 10 damn years and they've been through people. They've moved on with other people, but they've never moved on because they just cannot see themselves in this four of wands energy with anyone other than you. Everyone else is just like three of cups energy. So it could be very well that it could also be that to some extent towards you even may be blocked uh, from moving on 100% because this person's energy is so heavy all over you. I do see that as well, especially if the two of you have kids, if you've been together for significant for a significant amount of time. That's a lot of waiting. I just see a lot of fucking waiting on another person and then saying, you know what? I deserve more. I'm going to let this go. But then run right back into their head, their heart over the situation. Can't, child, can't let, can't, can't let you go can't let you go and i don't care if you're a tourist man or a woman they can't goddamn let you go they cannot they they cannot <laughs> this person can't let you go this, this person can't let you go and they keep it's like this person just keeps pushing themselves like you could do it you could do it it's like someone that has a fear of, of, of flying or a fear of heights and they they go to bungee jump and it's like you could do it you could do it and they've been up there 50 million goddamn times and they never jump they never jump and they still can't jump. Like this person, they're going to keep trying to either get you back in their life or keep trying to move on from their from from you. Uh, but they just can't. And they're going to continue to try to get you back in their life. It's not going to be like it's over, over, over. Like you will have to stay the course and say, yeah, they still are stuck on me, but I just will not open myself up to them anymore. So that's what I have for you with... Um, and the thing that I want to also say with this Gemini, um, when they say happiness awaits and it's amazing, they may want, want to convince you that this time around it'll be completely different and they will love you 100%. Um, but also I see that you could have marriage and be very happy elsewhere. And that's what they're so fearful of. So that's what I have for you for Geminis. You and a Gemini. Now let's look at Cancer. So cancer, if you're dealing with a cancer, uh, they feel like they'll marry you one day. The tables have turned and now they're hurt. So they are, I do see hurt. I do see hurt. I do see them being very unsure. Uh, they came back to work on things or accepted you back to work things out. But now they're not so sure if things can work out. And they may even altogether feel like I just need to give up on this. Um, it's it's going to be bitter for them, but they may feel like that's the best thing to do because you're driving them crazy to some extent. They're in their head and, and in their emotions quite a bit and can't necessarily get a handle on it. They feel like um, you make them a better person if you're a man and... Um, they may feel that um, you're an ideal woman if you are a cancer woman, like very ideal. I'm sorry, if you're a, a Taurus woman, excuse me. If you're a Taurus woman, you're extremely ideal um, to them. Um, it's like they even have to earn your sex, your sensual, your intimacy. Like they have to earn those things. Um, and it's always worth it. <laughs> so uh, you're beyond ideal for them. And they're having a hard time. What's this what is this hard time is about? Oh, they're having a hard time to convince you that they are worthy of you on a serious level uh, because they may act very sexual or very uh, self-interested. They may come across as someone who is not the most stable, not the way that you, you know, come across in, in stability. Uh, so that may make them feel that this doesn't have any potential. I do see coming back together again, even if it's just to discuss children, that sort of thing. But I do see coming back together again, or at least a desire to do so. One of you may stop yourself. I feel like they'll stop themselves and not come toward you, but then want to come toward you. And hell, you think it, you're thinking about them too. So they're thinking about you. You're thinking about them. But, you know, someone, ooh, this is going to be over, over, and it's going to be very difficult. It's going to be very difficult, but someone may feel like I just have to, I have to do it. I have to just let it go. And just, they might feel like they just need to let you go cold Turkey. Uh, Taurus this cancer may feel like they have to let you go cold Turkey because it's really difficult. They have just been having a hard time. Everyone's having a hard time letting you go. They are having a hard time letting you go and they're going to have to just cut you off cold Turkey and try to stay away. Um, and they're going to try to, they're going to have sleepless nights and you know, all those things. And they're going to might, they might find themselves still trying to come back around. Like it's going to be hard for them to just let you go because time only for them, it makes them feel like it refreshes things for the two of you. It's like time gives the two of you a clean slate. Okay, it's been a month. We have a clean slate. Now we can start again. 
is that type of thing. So it's going to be really difficult for them to let you go because now you're in their system. So that's what we have for you and a cancer. Now let's look at Leo. So this Leo, if you're dealing with one, uh, cares a lot about you. A lot of people are waiting on people. I do see waiting and kind of going through the motions while waiting. Um, they may have also been a disappointment to you when you needed them. I get that. Um, they feel like the love that you have, the, the two of you are still very new. Um, it's still mutual. Um, they do feel like you have a lot, a lot of love to give them and vice versa. But they also feel like you can't, they may be telling themselves they can't trust you or you shouldn't trust them. Now, they've been in their head a lot over this situation, a lot. And they do want attention. They're craving attention, particularly from you. But they, at this point, they'll get it from anyone. Um, because they just, it's more of an ego thing right now and they feel more comfortable in their ego space rather than their heart space or their head space, because both of those things seems to be rejecting them and giving them the blues. So now they are in a place where they want you, they want your attention, hell, they just want you to validate them again, which reach back out, you know, give them some attention, throw them a bone, do something. Um, and I do feel like they're going to come your way. They're going to, like, if you open the door... Even if you can get a pinky toe through that door, that's all they need. And they're going to work out the rest. They're, I mean, when I tell you this person is, obs they're obsessed. Um, but it's not just obsess obsession. They do have an unhealthy attachment to you. But it's also love. It's also love as well. And there's something about the quality of woman that you are that validates them to a, in a place that hits their core. Like hits them and play in a place that perhaps they never had nourishment, if that makes sense. Um, and so they are going to fight for this. They're not going to let you go. They're not going to give up on you. It does have a potential to work out. You seem to be very open with them to accept them back in. But you may be kind of slow walking them. Yeah, okay, you'll, you'll hear them out. Yeah, I'll get on a date. Yeah, I'll talk to you on the phone. But you may be adamant about staying single. OK, or you may feel like they're doing this for now to stroke their ego. But deep down inside, they really want to be single so they could do their own thing. So I do feel like perhaps you're doing it differently this time. They really can't help, um, harm you because you are protected and they are starting to realize their inadequacies. And that's what you kind of illuminate for them where they need to grow and develop and grow up. Um, and they just may, you know, they hate the fact that, you know, they know that there's someone that either they can't trust themselves, be trusted, or they have some development to do. And that is what makes them still want you in your in, in their life. But there's a sense of them being codependent toward that, that you give them as well. Um, so I just, to me, it just seems like um, they're you're out of their league. Excuse me. You're out of their league, but they're not going to give up on this. They just will not. So it will have to be you, Taurus, to, to cut it off and to never go back again because this person, they just will not do it. So that's what I have for you with Leos. Now let's look at you and Virgo. Okay, so if you're dealing with a Virgo, I'll say this, like Gemini season, May, June is a game changer for you Tauruses when it comes to love. You'll have people coming back or people deciding to leave or you cutting people off. I do see that. This is running theme uh, with air energy. So now let's get into Virgo. Well, they are hurt and they're scared to love you. Um, they're scared to fall in love with you. And there's control issues. They're trying to control their emotions. Um, that's what I'm seeing here. They're trying to control their emotions. but And they're scared at the same time to fall in love with you. But it's almost like they can't help it. Because there is just this ease between the two of you. It may have been hard. Like there may have been a lot of stagnation with the two of you coming together, getting this on track, that sort of thing. Now they just want to work it out. They want to balance it out. They're they're more than patient to do what needs to be done to get it on track and to come back together again. They even dream about you. Sometimes they may be delusional or, you know, creating illusions of how good this could be or how bad it will be. So they do kind of... Um, go from one extreme to the other they're obsessed they've been in the past they're kind of getting in a healthier space so if they've had addictions of some sort they're coming out of that Taurus they really are coming out of it and they're getting better not just for this but for them 
Okay. Um, they may feel like they're just hoping, wishing, and praying that the two of you can come back around to each other and they could express their love for you because they really do care deeply for you. Um, it's like a there it's it's like a dream, a wish. Um they dream and they wish and they pray that the two of you can work this out or you can forgive them. Like one thing about it, they don't want any more bad blood. If there was bad blood, they don't want any bad blood. They want things to get back on track. You could hear from them. They do want to express themselves and they want to focus on getting this back on track. It, and they may even say, let's just be friends. Or even if I could just have you for a friend or we could just make peace. Like they want it to be peaceful and amicable. They want sex too. They want some sex. They want, you know, they want all of it, you know, but they won't push it. They will take whatever they can get <laughs> from the situation. It's like, I'll, I'll take whatever you will give me, but I do want all those things. Like they do want all those things with you, but they will take what they can get because they, they just want you in their life, if that makes any sense. So that's what I have for you with you and Virgos. Now let's look at Libra. So for this Libra, I feel that they feel like good things are coming between the two of you. Things, Good things are coming. Now, this is a karmic relationship, so there's lessons to be learned here. And they want a new beginning. They do. They want a new beginning, and they will be coming back for that new beginning if they haven't already done so. They have been feeling kind of lethargic, out of sorts, lazy, um, unmotivated, not having you in their life or before you came into it. They're right now holding on, um, trying to understand how can things get better? What can what could they have done differently? How things um, came about? And I do feel like this Libra is wanting to walk away from any drama here. Yeah, they're trying to like get through the pain of it all. They are, God damn, they're struggling. They are struggling, struggling, struggling. But once they get through all of that, um, whether it be they did you wrong and now they have to forgive themselves or um, they have to get to a place of peace for themselves. They're going to be waiting around to see how things can work out between the two of you trying to move on. It just will seem impossible to, well, God damn, everybody's struggling to move on from you. <laughs> but I do feel that it's going to work either one or two ways where you and this Libra will kind of cold mm, you come back yeah, it's coming back together it's coming back together it's, it's it, it can turn into one of these sex-based relationships with sexual is there love here god damn okay listen listen to me the only way i see this not working because when i tell you there is love there's love on another level love but the reason, the way I can see this not working is because there's an outside person. There's a third party here. Somebody's married or in a relationship or never got over another person. And they're just not able to give all of themselves and fully commit. And that's where the breakdown comes from. There is sex, intention, loyalty, devotion, um, a spiritual connection, a deep love. And again, sex, you know, that re rejuvenates over time. Like you guys do it again. Every time you do it, it's like, it feels new and it feels deeper and it feels fresher, but it's new. And it's like, there's a lot here, but the problem could very well be a third party, outside people. Somebody, just, yeah, somebody just can't seem to commit, but it's like, it's checking all the boxes. So that's the unfortunate part. And for whoever's doing this, where you know, they're trying to have their cake and eat all of it too, um, they're not going to get a tummy ache. They're going to lose part of their intestines, and it's part of their like they're going their karma is going to be heavy on all of this when it's all said and done, right? Because this is going to be a love like no other. Listen, I keep saying, I keep saying, listen, okay. You guys may very well get it together and come and love each other and be together. And it feels like forever. And if not, it's like someone moves on and lives their life and find love. And it and it was because of you. So this Libra could go on and live life and find love. Um, and you may have been the person that aided that person in correcting themselves, seeing the error of their ways and then going to love or vice versa. That, that happens for you. Because something about this karmic lesson that prepares another person and gets them ready for what could be coming to them. Um, I 
I don't feel like it's the two of you. I mean, it could be, but I don't feel like it's the two of you. I feel like this kind of comes to a close um, and then the other person or that person, one of you, go on to live, um, I mean, a very happy, successful, abundant, long term. It could be like one of those forever things, the way those cards came out with another person and perhaps that's why this card there this will be a karmic lesson prepare yourself third party involves a love interest but don't cry because happiness awaits and it's amazing so if it's anything that this libra is doing to you don't worry there actually is going to be a blessing um, for you in the end so that's what i have for you with a libra now let's look at scorpio so if you're dealing with a scorpio um you could be in a relationship this time next year either with them you may be on to a whole nother relationship this time next year um, and they may have resentment towards someone if someone told them uh, to let you go they may resent that ill advice advisement they may resent you for letting them go um, they may resent themselves for coming to the conclusion that they should let you go they really was enamored with you at first they was really excited um, they kind of tried to come in a very new and fresh way when this started but they're you know there's they're feeling the harsh effects of you and them being over with um they really are they may need help with it like people to help them get their mind right again or help them recuperate from it because it's doing a number on them they may be overindulging uh just to kind of soothe themselves and they may be they may trick themselves and say oh you know i'll have Taurus back again you know, we're gonna be okay i'm gonna go after Taurus. i'm not gonna let them go just that easily and, you know this is what i want this is what i'm gonna have and all it takes for me to go out and get it they may also feel like you want you feel the same way like you're coming at them that way it can go vice versa so something about this situation was unfulfilling and there's an end or has been an end, but then it seems like either they're going to come back and try to work things out with you or they want to, but this is a physical action. So they're going to want it from you or they, they'll be giving it to you. They'll be reaching out to you. Um, they really don't know where they want this to go. They may feel like it's really hope, hopeless because they're not the one in power here. They're not the one in control to be able to, to you know, bring it back or make it be whatever they want it to be even though they're kind of hyping themselves up and making themselves believe that but they are going to kind of like put their foot down um and they may just say hey i'm not going to give you up i don't give a damn you can find yourself coming back to them or vice versa them you because this is karmic and there's still more karmic loops to go around is what it looks like to me um there's going to be a lot of openness and honesty that's going to come up and out and i'm just going to speak from a perspective of a woman here because it's woman versus man you guys are showing up in the near future as a king and queen of swords right so this woman's gonna be very clear she's like i'm not here for your shit is that type of thing like she's gonna be very clear about what's going on she's gonna put it all out there which is gonna give this man more anxiety he may already have it this man may already have anxiety prior to talking to her or after speaking with her it's like oh shit you know now what i'm gonna do um I don't have a leg to stand on, on. So it almost seems like this woman kind of controls things or start to control things here after there is a sense of communication. This woman could also just get some type of clarity about the situation to cut it off and now has stressed this man out completely. And now you both are falling back, holding back. Um, somebody's just not going to be sure if that they could come back in, but I do see someone coming back in and wanting to you know give a truth and wanting to make things right which i do feel like mm, it's like a wait and see you might throw them a bone you might say yeah but it might just still be this energy where it's like no one is you know if they're coming to you you might hear them out that's that type of thing but you might after it's done you might not be so willing to hear them out listen to them give them a time of day is what it looks like so you might just put this person on ice completely i see a woman putting a man on ice or him just kind of like falling off by default not calling not reaching out and it kind of falls off by default but pull one more to see because it, it definitely was giving um jury is still out 
Yeah, this is a process. This can work. This can this can work. Um, you might be in a relationship with them this time next year. It's just going to be a hell of a process because the way that they come across, not going to work for you. But once they start understanding who you are and what the hell they need to do, then is when they get in your seat, sweet spot. Um, and then I get once they meet the children, I get two children of some sort. But once once the children, to some extent, is introduced it's over. You guys are like lock and key once those kids get involved. So that's what I have for you. If you have a Scorpio in your life, now let's look at Sagittarius. So if you have a Sagittarius, they, they really do love your smile, something about your eyes, your smile, or your lips that they really, really do love. Um, and this, this Sagittarius may try to force you into a relationship or you them. Somebody may be trying to force the other person and it is a karmic relationship. So there may definitely be this runner chaser energy going on here. That's the kind of karmic relationship is what it looks like it could be. This Sagittarius does care for you, but right now they may be um, very quiet, not not talking to you um, at the moment. They do want to see you, spend some time with you. Um, they want you to come in. They want to see you. Uh, they want to be intimate. They really, really, they're very attracted to you. Um, they're not so sure. They're going to be making a move. So they're, I get action cards from them, but they're going to be completely stressed out. Not sure if um, the two of you can really make this work. They may feel like the situation has never gotten off the ground properly or for slipping away. I get a lot of night energy. So uh, this is a lot of um, actions, um, offers that's coming in, but also thoughts. And they're not really talking to you about what's in their mind deeply about this situation here um, and what they're trying to heal from. Yeah, they could be healing from a past relationship. Uh, they could be not so sure, and I get that strongly, not so sure about whether or not this has legs and it really can grow and that the two of you will see each other or spend time or really make this work. At the very mundane sense, they just want to see you and spend some time with you and, you know, I feel intimate time. You know, they really do think highly of you and perhaps in the past they've had some regrets or there's been some harsh words or just a cut off that was unexpected. And again, they may have some regrets. They may not like the way that things have worked. They may not like to some extent the way that you've treated them or vice versa. And I do see that there's going to be a truth like that comes out. Yeah, there may be a truth in getting to the uh, getting to an understanding of what they want versus what you want that sort of thing. It could also be like a, I just heard trip, but it could be um, a, a date. That's why I want to say an offer to go on a date, that sort of thing. Or they want you to start courting them. So for some of you, this person just may feel like it's very premature. If it's, it's just not moving in a way that is dating and then developing a courtship, it's more of just like, it could be sex or in the moment, whenever a person has time, that sort of thing. They do see you as very strong, very stuck in your way a person who's very serious and someone who you know really deserves a lot of love a lot of love here this if you're a Taurus man this Sagittarius woman she loves you she loves you a lot um and she may even have validated you enough where you know um it kind of especially if it just started she could have been a rebound to you and it's like you know she's built you back up to a place is what it looks like to me I see that there's going to be a coming back together and kind of being equal. I see what could be dating or getting together, spending time together, like dating. And it can definitely be sexual. This could be something that's more sexual with the page of wands, the three of cups. It's like sexual energy. Um, but then work kind of gets in the way. So one could be also thinking and worrying that uh, someone is out there seeing other people doing other things um, is what it looks like to me. Um, I don't feel like this person is, but someone may be fearful of that. And I just see work getting in the way of this. Um, yeah. Yeah, work gets in the way and it's going to drop. Whoever the woman is, if you're listening for Taurus and Sagittarius, find something to do. If Whoever's this woman, whether it be Taurus women or a cross watcher, Find some things to do to um, 
free up to busy your life because that's going to help take your mind off of this. You may find yourself becoming a little too attached. Whoever this woman is, she comes too attached to this man and the man is working. The man, I see the man working. I don't see this man as all about women and sex. He may give that off. Maybe the way that he handles her is just, she just can't believe. She just thinks that he's just out here doing stuff. <laughs> but the man is actually working and this woman is kind of going crazy over it. So you, you need to, whoever this woman is, you need to find you something to do. And then, uh, I just get into the sex. It, it's a sex situation. And that's what, you know, it could just be one of those things that's sexual. It's, you know, I don't feel like a person has much else to offer. Um, and so I guess enjoy the sex if you can. If you can't, you know, maybe this may not be the person for you. Um, for others of you, if this is a real commitment that you're in with the Sagittarius, and I'm taking a little extra time with it, um, I feel that you need to, again, get some things and hobbies in, in your life because it's in balance because someone just spends a lot of time thinking about a particular person and their mind will, may run wild and what they want versus what they're going to get is two different things uh, because someone is just set in their way and that's who they are and it's they're more like a I could show you better than I could tell you type of a person so whoever you are that may have let your mind and your emotions get the best of you and get ahead of you this is a good time for you to, to put things back into perspective get some things going on in your life um, and, and kind of, I don't want to, I'm not trying to be rude, but get a life and um, get some other things. Even if that means, if especially if it's not like a full-on commitment, dating other people, putting yourself out there, just do something to busy you so that you're not um, so stuck on this other person. Whether it be you stuck on Taurus or Taurus. I feel like it's more you stuck on a Taurus, but it could go vice versa. Okay. So that's what I have for you if you're dealing with a Sagittarius. Now let's go to Capricorn. Okay, so if you're dealing with a Capricorn, they want you to take some time for yourself and they want to call, they want to talk to you, but they're, they're keep, they keep stopping themselves because something is telling them not to. They love you. La, 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 love you. Um, they love you, simple and plain. And they want you to love them too. Um, they can't love you for the both of them. They can't. They want to love you. They want to be loved by you fully and wholly and they want attention from you they may acknowledge that you're broken or they're broken um and someone kind of lives off of their ego so the ego when when it's not being fed um it can kind of be detrimental to someone it could be them you know they don't get enough attention because it's like take time for yourself and i want to call but some something's telling me not to and they felt like this was going to be completely forever so no matter the flaws with you they would love you through them okay but it seems like now uh, they're either you're living in a way that they can't they can't solve because this may be like a Capricorn this Capricorn may be a problem solver so whatever the problems are they're going to find a way to solve it and it's like I can't solve this shit this is your shit type of thing um or they may just this is their shit and they, they're starting to realize that because of somebody's ego that's getting in the way of this relationship now this situation was toxic to begin with but they again may have saw it as exciting and fun and yes and I, you know, again, I can live and love and sex and do all the things for both of us. But now they're at a place where um, they want you to give them attention, almost in a way, validate them. So I do feel like this Capricorn may be deducing themselves to some extent of less of a person in order for this to kind of come back together and even work out. And they're going to be suffering in silence. I do see that, you know, they may look back and, you know, they may feel bad about the way that they've been handled or the way that they even have treated you. This could be a Taurus wanting, you know, not just one, but two people, several people um or capricorn excuse me that has a few people um, but then they know that the ego got the better of them and they may have lost the person that they truly want and then they're going to have to tuck their legs in between their tail and move on okay um that's if uh, taurus have been done wrong by capricorn 
Capricorn, been, if, if um, Taurus has done wrong by this Capricorn, uh, then I do feel like there's going to be a lot of holding back, but waiting at the same time because they want to talk. They want to have a talk. And I do feel that they're going to come back. Somebody's coming back to talk, to get something off their chest, but they're not going to be so nice about it. Somebody's not going to be so nice. They're not going to be loving. It's no lovey dovey. It's just, I'm telling you what it is. I'm telling you the truth. And then I'm not talking to you anymore after that. Um, it's, or it will be this cutoff again. And then making a decision to say, I'm out of here. I'll do what the fuck I want to do. I don't care. I don't need you. It's like someone has that energy, like F you, F everything about you. I don't need you. I'm good. And they're going to move on. They'll have regrets. They'll have regrets. This person is going to have regrets, but they will not allow anybody to know about that shit. So whoever is the person that truly loved in this relationship with Capricorn and Taurus and whoever let their ego get the better of them. And now they're giving that person a middle finger um, and they may have cheated on the person and still walked around with all this goddamn ego and then walked around and said, fuck you. And you get the middle finger. You just wait. If you're who if you're whoever the person is that has endured because there's something about enduring here. Somebody is has endured a lot of shit from somebody. <laughs> oh, shit. Guys, y'all about to get me on my soapbox, okay? Somebody has endured a lot of shit with someone. But don't wait. Don't worry. Because when it's all said and done and when they go to fuck on and start feeling like, oh, yeah, they're going to sit back. And they're like, damn it. I, I, well, I guess I, mean, I could have did that a different way. Maybe I should call. Oh, fuck it. I'm not calling. I don't care. And then they're going to feel really bad. Well, I'm working. I don't care. I'll focus on work. I don't give a damn. Well, maybe I do want to work this out. Maybe I should try to. No, because that's their ego. It's still the ego. And then they're going to have the audacity to try to come back and work their way back into that person's life. But, you know, this is a time to have to show somebody or teach somebody a lesson. You have to be very careful here because I do feel that um, they're going to have regrets and the karma will come back down on them. The only way that they won't experience so much karma is if the person that was done wrong takes them back. Okay. I do see that. Um, but no, none to worry. Uh, none to worry if this has been an issue. Because again, whoever did wrong to that person that has endured a lot, they're going to get retribution. Um, but it will. It, they may not ever get full confirmation of it because whoever this person is, they're really good at stubbornness. They're really good at saying, I don't give a fuck. You know, they'll go down with the ship type of thing. So that's what I have with you for a Capricorn. Now let's look at Aquarius. Okay, so if you have an Aquarius in your life, um, they feel like it's time for you to kind of get with the times. They may feel like there's some things about you that you need to learn. Um... And you kind of need to come get out of your get out of your way is what I'm hearing, um, releasing the stubbornness and go back and open your mind. It's kind of like open your mind and open your heart to be learn to be loved or to learn a new way of being. OK, because they want to partner with you. They do. Oh, they want to partner with you. Yes. If it was unclear before, you should know it now because they're giving their actions are showing it. It's very equal and it's consistent. And this man is saying or a woman, but it's coming very strongly as a man. But it, again, it could be a woman. I want you as my partner. That's why I'm giving to you equally or I'm I'm going to be your partner. That's why I'm giving to you this way. So this person is kind of giving you almost spoiling you really like they're not you don't have much of an issue with them or at least you shouldn't at this time. You know, this is a number that the, the breakup, the disconnect. I feel like this Aquarius could be difficult. Um, it's hard to love them because they're not the traditional way to be loved. Um, they're cranky. They can act like an old fogey sometime. Um, and I could do it myself, but doing it, they got self has not been working for them. <laughs> um, so now they're kind of seeing the light and now all of a sudden they're realizing that I could be all the things I could be quirky and hard and difficult and, and, you know, grumpy at times. Um, but they love me through it. They accept me for them. And there's something about that, that they realize about you that is angelic and angel-like you know otherworldly 
almost. And so they come in wanting to now share this love and, and love on you and get that love again. But you may be bruised. You may not feel so great or them or you not opening up to them could bruise their ego pretty quickly and hurt their feelings, even though they are hurt. Um, they will go quiet a while and then just become completely stressed out because now it becomes very clear that they may not even have you again. They might even have you in their life again. It's like, oh, goddamn, now I've lost Taurus. Now what am I going to do? I do feel that you're going to continue to live your life, Taurus, and just be and do what you need to do. There's an opportunity to work this out again, but again, it could be short-lived. It could just be one of those things where it's like it's hard to get on a back in place, but it looks like you guys do. It looks like you do. There may be distance. It could be also work. Like somebody, I don't know if somebody's in the military, some work, like something like that, that physically takes them away from time periods or when they're working, they're working. So it's like, leave them alone. They're working. That type of thing. But this still has an opportunity to work. It's like a winding road before you get to a clear path and a straight road up ahead. It's that type of thing. So when you guys are still trying to work this out, there are still kinks. There are still twists and turns. But it seems like all roads can still lead to a commitment and happiness at the end. So that's what I have for you guys dealing with an Aquarius. Now let's look at Pisces. <sighs> okay, so if you're dealing with a Pisces... They may try to force you into a relationship, um, vice versa. They may feel that you are trying to force them into a relationship and they may resent the fact that you let them go. They let you go or someone influenced an, an ending in this relationship is what it looks like to me. Um, this was really fun in the beginning, exciting almost. And you both kind of seen each other in like this youthful energy i think at and at the heart of it there's still a youthfulness within the both of you and it was kind of comfortable to share that um and it's an angelic feeling that's the first thing i got as i was putting the cards down it's like it's not world worldly um it's not so spiritual i can't explain it. it's like it's angelic it's the ideals of what you want a person to make you feel and vice versa so that seems like what was there very attracted to you definitely wanted to come see you want to spend some time with you wanting you to reach out they want they want you okay they want you um, but they're not so sure if you want them or that they match up that this can grow um, they may really want to start something that grows with you, but they may feel like it's just sex because it's all wands here. Page of wands, knight of wands, queen of wands. <laughs> it's progressively grown, grown. Let's say that the sexual attraction has gotten stronger and stronger over time, but now they're not so sure. They may have some, um, I, I hear resentment, but they also may have some reservations here. They've been holding back, probably feeling like they need to prepare themselves to accept that this is over or that perhaps they should should remain single or let you be single. Um, but they do love you. They want love from you or they want to love you. You know, it's full grown. It, they have their feelings for you have grown over time and it seems to only grow more. Um, and it has been either a cutout that has been difficult to accept, um, ex words exchanged um, that has put the bad taste in your mouth, their mouth. Um, and then there's an opportunity to move past whatever the problems have been because someone wants attention. They really want attention. But then it kind of falls flat after that and someone may go cold on the other person only for there to be yet again a comeback around between the two of you this may you know this back and forth and this in and out could just become old real quick and it just may feel like you know what i just don't have time for it because i find myself constantly waiting and waiting and waiting some of you are waiting um, it could be you or them. Someone is waiting for the other person to love them. And when the person does show love, the other person starts to question, you love me? That type of thing. So do you love me? <laughs> Even though the person is trying to show you, yes, I'm, I love you. And yes, I want to be with you. As time goes on, Taurus, this man is or woman, you know, this person is going to show you as time goes on over and over again, whether you're a uh, Taurus man or a Taurus woman um, that they want you to be their husband or wife they want a commitment with you or they may just start acting that way you know in a way um, that you know they are marriage material 
and they are willing, they want to invest and it becomes more and more of even an expectation. They may force you into a relationship, <laughs> shit, shit. They may manifest your ass and just make you a husband or a wife. The sex is off the chain. <laughs> Let me say this part before I wrap this video up. <laughs> It's funny because it's like, I'm pulling, I'm pulling, I'm pulling. The next you know, you get the Emperor and the Queen of Pentacles. After the Four of Pentacles and the King of Cups. So the emotions start to develop over time, right? And it, it seems like the two of you are never on the same page. If someone's loving and the other person is not really capable or able to. It's a lot of sex that kind of develops over time. Somebody's more focused on their self-sufficiency and independence than this love, but they can't ignore the love. And then they give into it. Like, I love you too. And I want to love you too. And then the person's like, you love me? You, 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 you love me? And it's almost like unbelievable. Like, you love me. Okay, so you do love me. <laughs> And then I see what could very well be a commitment by default, just because the two of you can't let each other go. There's, the, you know, you check all the boxes. Sex is great. Um, we really do care for each other. How we love each other. And there's a connection here that just flows and just comes. And <laughs> it may be literally due to the physical that turns into emotional. And then it just turns into a commitment over time. It's, you know, it's that very Pisces nebulous thing where you come into a fog and you come out the fog like, oh, shit, I came out of here married and a baby and everything. <laughs> That's what I have for you guys. I hope that this has been helpful. Let me know in the comment section below how you like the video um, or the reading rather. And um, if you want something personal for yourself, do check the link in the description box below. Otherwise, if you're new to the channel, welcome and subscribe because I will be back very soon with another one. Take care, Taurus.